Hello friends, my name is Sharrington, it's time to play more Genshin Impact, more- The Luke! The thing about wine is, you have to drink it at the tavern, or you miss out on half the fun. Seems to me you'd find some way of keeping yourself amused, even if you drank alone. <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I would say you're being deliberately uncivil. Just drink responsibly on my- Vinci's there. Okay? Oh. And if I did have one too many, what then? You'd throw me out along with the trash, is that it? Throw you out? You know, the same way you threw out Father's legacy. You sold off his mansion. Or maybe you've forgotten. I see no reason to cling to things that have outlived their purpose. Is that so? Then I trust you were most swift indeed to part with a certain vase? Sorry, I have no recollection. That's odd. Master Diluc, I'm sure I saw such a vase in your home. A beautiful one, unmistakable in fact. Seems our suspicions were right. Grown-ups don't appear to have imaginary friends. Like I said, a lack of childlike Even adults are the same everywhere. So people just stop dreaming when they grow up? Okay, well, Paimon for one never wants to grow up. Hmm, this raises an interesting question. At what age exactly do people's imaginary friends disappear? Let's go and check. Someone of her age surely must have some imagination left, don't you think? I don't know. Somehow Paimon brings the idea of not being able to see Paimon's imaginary friend kind of scary. Alright, I made it to Aline. Ellen? Is that what her name is? I made it to Ellen. Oh, Jane! Oh, no. Wow. Okay. Jean? What is Jean doing here? Is Master Jean Ellen's imaginary friend? Ellen is really determined to become a knight. Yeah, she's so conscientious. It's terrifying. Hmm? Oh, hello. What are you guys doing? Are you always training here? <laughs> you bet. Today, I heard Stanley talking about his adventures. It was incredible. It got me really pumped up. Oh, I hope I can be as outstanding as him one day. So that you can fight shoulder to shoulder with Master Jean? <laughs> I, I mean, obviously, I want to become a knight. And if I got to go on an adventure with Jean herself, well, even better. Seems Ellen really looks up to Jean. I believe you'll succeed, Ellen. Oh, thanks. I was thinking, it's not every day I get to hang out with the honorary knight. Would you join me for some sword training? Huh. How can I smash all these no. training dummies at once? Why does you have to have that training? <laughs> um, let's hit them all. Animal hypostasis emulation. Yes. So Easier one. I'm impressed. You better be impressed. Oh, thank you. It's clear it's still the long way to go in my. Train. And if you play this game, well, as much as I do, and do the daily quest, you will see Ellen pop up a lot with her training dummies. And it's okay. It's like maybe three of them, but when you have like six all spread out, they're like defeat them all in two seconds. It's like why? Why are you doing this game? That's why I was like no. It was like bad memories, but okay. So modest. I for one think you're quite the pro at this already. Oh, well, I'm exhausted from training, so clearly my fitness needs some work. One day though, I'll smash all the training dummies in Mondstadt. Ellen, Ellen, she's our girl. If she can't do it, um, really, Cheryl. Ugh. Thanks. Shoot, I got so caught up here I forgot there's something I was supposed to do today. 
Ugh, but I'm so sore from training. I can hardly move. Honorary Knight, could you deliver a message to Jack for me? All right, sure. Where can I find him? He's gone adventuring at the Temple of the Lion with Stanley. Today. Stanley. Stanley's a truly legendary adventurer, renowned in all of Mondstadt. He once set foot in the Mare Jabari. We were gonna meet up tonight and discuss adventure plans. <sighs> Could you let him know it'll have to be another Temple day? of the Lion? Sure, I missed that place. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. The south wind brings adventure. While investigating imaginary friends of Vinti, Ellen asks you to search for the adventure Jack within the Temple of the Lion. It seems he's traveling together with the legendary adventurer, Stanley. The Temple of the Lion? Vinti! We explored this place once before, didn't we? During the Storm Terror incident. Seems like it's now a hot spot for adventurers. That can only mean one thing. We didn't bag all the loot last <laughs> time! Oh, his liar. Looks nice. Oh, he's cute. I want Vindy in my team. I like his cape. I like his outfit. Okay, I love the green of it. It's pretty much what I like. That's cool. I get to use Vindy. Oh, he would have been the wind. Oh, well. Wouldn't gliding be faster? Wouldn't gliding be faster? Yes, it would, but... Looks like we can't go An elevator, further. Paimon. Or something. Not to worry. Allow me. Those who wander in the dust, the wind shall send soaring sky. Oh, high. cool. Nice, Venti. He's a level 68, Venti. Interesting. Oh, there's this. Ooh, treasure. Give me all the treasure. Raw meat in a box. Alright, like I'd want to eat that in real life. But okay. I don't think it'd be very uh, healthy. Wait, where do I need to go? I must open the door. Oh, hey, he has a three again. That's nice. Cause he had three when I fought Storm Tower. Yeah. But then when I did the yeah. trial version of him. Yeah. Like, nope. Oh, they're running off. They're gonna reset, aren't they? That sucks. Yeah. Let's play. One down. I'm standing there, but okay. Ooh. How do I get to this? Oh, hi, everybody. <laughs> Wait a moment. But I'm happy to use Venti a bit. Oh, I aggroed them on accident. Just want to get things. Get rid of the mage. Thank you. I did not need to use that yet. But oh well. There are more. Let's pull them all together. Think you can get away? Okay. Must be a new badge. Gather. Hmm, potatoes. Fish burnt potatoes. All right. The Luke's flinging fire around. Something opened, happened, I can't see it. Okay, this opened. Or I can get to it now. 
makes me quite happy. I don't want to up my adventure rank, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm desperate for primo gems, I might. him like nothing else ow you stop hitting the look like that okay just do this our reverse now it's just these guys oh jack and stanley are cowering in fear got it Oh, no, Stan looks okay. Jack is cowering in fear. Ellie is kind of loose standing his, go his ground. Before I talk to you guys, I will open this chest. Then we can have a little chat. Hi guys. I saved you. I was so sure I was about to die. To be fair, that could have gone either way. So, you must be Jack the Adventurer, I assume? Yes. Who are you? Actually, we came looking for you! Ellen has a message for you. She said she won't be able to join you today to plan out your next adventure together. She'll join you some other time. Oh, I see. I feel bad you had to come all this way to find me. And then had to rescue me. I don't see what all the fuss is about. It was nothing that I, Stanley, couldn't have dealt with by myself. Whoa! You are Stanley? You were that legendary adventurer? Renowned in all of Mondstadt? Who once set foot in the Mare Javari? <laughs> the very same. <laughs> I must say, it's an honor to meet one as legendary as yourself. Well then, how would everyone like to proceed? Head back, or head further inside? Stanley, what do you think? <laughs> well, I think you're now in the safe hands of Stanley, the great explorer and legend of Mondstadt. In which case, why head back now? Okay, motion passed by unanimous consent. Let's head further in. I said... So... I'm guessing you mostly came here because you want to hear my adventure stories. Am I right? No, we really were just looking for Jack. What? Do you know who I am? I am Stanley, renowned adventurer of Monster. Yeah, I think we got that. Well, your attitude says maybe you don't got that. I am Stanley, the living legend. Stanley, who braved the Major Barbie. Enough already! Ugh. Stop name dropping yourself every time you open your mouth! It's true, though. Stanley is the most amazing guy. <laughs> well, Jack will listen, won't you? Now, where was I? You and your partner reached the Major Barbie, a famously terrifying place with not a wisp of wind. Precisely! There was a deathly silence in the air. A sea of ashes stretched out before us. As far as the eye could see, the Mayor Jabari. Suddenly, my partner was caught in a whirlpool whipped up by an evil beast. Luckily, I managed to grab hold of him just in time. Wow! So, did he make it? <sighs> Sadly. In the end, I alone was able to set foot on home ground once more, where the gentle breeze carried away the tears welling up in my eyes. <laughs> that poor guy. How could that happen? Jack, you can't cry so easily if you want to be a great adventurer. <laughs> I, I know. Because an adventurer's proudest achievement 
is to die in the course of their final adventure. But whatever happens, no adventurer should ever die in a place where the wind doesn't blow. The wind has to bring your spirit back to Mondstadt. That's right. To die in a place where the wind blows, and to have your spirit carried back to Mondstadt on the wind? That's... That's the dream. Yeah. Although, the most I can aspire to right now is beginner's commissions. Like clearing out the slimes, clogging up the sewers. You shouldn't die in a place with no wind. Why do they keep going on about that? Hmm. Is that why Stanley thinks the Mare Javari is the most terrifying place in the world? Because there's no wind there? Interesting. Must be some sort of monster. Um. Wind power. Brace yourself. Oh, he's at the mall. Good job, Vinti. And this door. Get it open. That's it. I don't know you can just hold it down. You'd have to hit R, uh, L1, L2. Remember the buttons? I just hit them. I don't think about them. And I do think about them. It probably mess up quicker. Make sure nothing interesting's over here. All right, it's time for battle, isn't it? Got a door of resurrection, most likely. Oops, we're all frozen. <laughs> Can't handle your drink. Huh. I'm gonna get rid of these annoying ones. Ice. <laughs> he keeps getting frozen. That's great. Throw some arrows at him. Almost done. Give me fiercely hitting buttons. <laughs> Anyone else? And I wish I'd auto aim at the uh, arrows, but that's okay. Can I cook in here? No. I was very curious to find out if I could or not. Why? <laughs> what? A oh, I better use Venti, huh? No, Venti! <laughs> that didn't work the way I'd hoped. Bye. Please take me back over there. Oh, usually you would do it by now. Make me float down for a while. Oh, goodness. You're right. Try that again. Hopefully it won't just eat me off the side of the cliff. Yahoo! It didn't work at all. Okay. That was weird. I want to fly, please. That's what happened. It's not working. We don't have to hold it. Maybe I do have to hold it? I don't know. Yahoo! I'll have to hold it down. That's what happened. And probably tell- I don't- Oh! Not very good at the gliding. Oh, hello everybody. Level 68. Alright, which one should I focus on? Oh gosh, that was a new attack. Luke, get this thing for me. Ooh. Owie. Be a bit on the careful side with these. Oh, they have that weird thing over them. Power. Oh, 
Put that down. Oh crap. Get rid of this one real quick. Okay, now I see the fire. A little bit of fire berry going on. Doesn't do any damage, does it? Oh no. Fiona? I wish the owner would do a little better against these things. Oh. I hit it. Go to Luke. Down the knee a bit. Alright, now you're down. Perfect. Ice definitely helped out. Alright, they're done. Trevor, I believe I've made a small Stanley did nothing. Could I ask you to use the Nernama detector once more? Stanley? A younger Stanley? But all injured. What? Stanley has an imaginary friend? It seems his imaginary friend is a seasoned warrior, covered in scars from head to foot, and a look of staunch determination on his face. It fits Stanley's description of himself. You're saying his imaginary friend is an idealized version of his own self? Interesting idea. But is it true? Please excuse me. I'll be leaving now. Bye, Stanley. Bye, Stanley. Do you two still have time to spare? What is it? A few days ago, Stanley got drunk and told me a secret. Something he's never told anyone before. The weapons he took on his adventure all those years ago. They were none other than those once wielded by Mondstadt's greatest hero, Vanessa herself. The Sword of Brilliant Valor, and the Shield of Magnificent Honor! I don't know whether you believe me, but apparently, both the Sword and Shield are still right here in Mondstadt, over in Dadaupa Gorge. Since you guys are the experts at this, can you come with me to try and retrieve these two legendary weapons? Stanley seriously own these weapons? You bet! This is Stanley we're talking about. If I can just get a hold of something impressive enough to show my family what I'm capable of, maybe they'll finally come around to the idea of me being an adventurer. Right now, I'm just a rookie. My abilities are limited. And my parents don't support my goals one bit. So, what do you say? Help a guy out? I can't bring myself to tell Stanley about it, because my reasons are so... Uh, selfish. But, I swear I'll give the weapons back to him as soon as I'm done. Jack, let's help him. All right, then. Venti, you coming too? Hmm, I don't know. Oh, one other thing. I have a bottle of rare vintage wine that I had someone fetch for me a couple years ago. Help me find these weapons, and it's all yours. Uh, uh, Dada Gorge, was it? <laughs> let's hurry. There's no time to lose. Okay, Venti really likes wine. Oh, Stanley, you were listening in. I wonder what that's all about. I'm to leave this place. Hey, that bunch of hilly churls! Are they holding some kind of ceremony? And what's with that pile of knickknacks? Are they worshipping them? Yes, let's see. Hello? Seems so. That must be the sword of brilliant valor, surely. Found it so quickly. I couldn't have found it last time I was here. Finding all the hillichos to open up the sword cemetery. Been here in a while. Yes, they found something new. Oh, 
my hello. Oh, what? Oh, what? Stop. This is order. Gather. Stand clear. Absorption test. Totally missed, big hero troll. That one just came extra. I need to fight him. <laughs> Lo and behold, the sword of brilliant. Is power. it really? Are you sure? Looks kind of basic to Paimon, and a little worse for wear, too. Why would hilly trolls be bowing down before a piece of junk like this? Uh, uh seems somebody tossed an old sword into a pile of spoils these hilly trolls were already celebrating. This is in terrible shape, and it's so basic, I... <sighs> I'm at a loss for words. Hmm. Say, Jack, have you ever seen an Animo crystal fly? They're found in the open country around Mondstadt City. If you saw one in broad daylight, you wouldn't bat an eyelid. But in the pitch blackness of night, its brilliant glow is mesmerizing. It truly resembles an exquisite crystal dancing in the night air. Is Valor not the same? When everything is going your way, it seems meaningless. Fades into the background. But when you're in dire straits, Valor is the thing that gets you fired up and fighting back. It's the brilliant ray of light that guides you out from the darkness. Excellent recovery. You're right. You're right. Then this has to be it. This is the sword of brilliant valor. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, we got our sword. Now we just need that shield. Let's scout around. It's definitely in Dada Upa Gorge, so... Uh, huh? There's somebody there. Stanley? What's he doing here? He's acting so weird. What happened? Why did you stop all of a sudden? Uh-huh. Oh, uh, it's nothing. Just one of those Mora spouting weasel thieves pass by is all. What? Where? I, I want to see. <laughs> Maybe another time. <laughs> we have a shield to find, remember? Why was Stanley here? Oh, that's not far at all. Let's go this way. Time to find a shield. That isn't it. Lo and behold, the shield of magnificent honor. Liar, liar, pants <laughs> on fire. It's a chunk of wood. A chunk of scrap wood with the handle attached. Who in their right mind? would use this as a shield there's also wine stains on it yeah i'm pretty sure this was just taken from a wine barrel and yet my bard's intuition tells me that this is none other than the shield of magnificent honor warriors wear their battle scars with pride and shields are no different surely an intact shield is one that has shied away from the battlefield is not the broken and splintered shield the one that has fought in countless wars and lived to tell the tale? Though the soldier's body be tired and torn, still they fight till the very end, till they have no blood left to bleed. Such magnificent strength of will. Is that not the true meaning of it? in top form today. You do have a point. Shiny new shields don't stay new and shiny for long. Okay, then. Well, maybe if we ask nicely, he'll just let us take the Shield of Magnificent Honor for free. I very much doubt that. Ahem. Excuse me, Mr. Hilly Churl? Lala. Well, okay, you take <laughs> from here. Hope you've picked up some Hilly Churlian by now. If not, there's always body language. In plata data? <gasps> oh, friendship improved! Cheerful enough. Maybe negotiating will work after all. Please. <laughs> Scroll just in the way, but it was cute. Please take the sweet flower I picked. Please take this. 
spiritual mass I stole. Pucha pupu gusha ye? Isn't ye like something kind of mean? Um, flower? You liked it. Perfect. It seems cheerful enough. Maybe negotiating will work after all. Mani nini badomu? Uh oh. Appreciate that. Oh, yeah. happy. Oh, yeah. He actually gave it I a did shield. it. The villager lessons Guys, paid off. Thank you so much. I can't believe I actually found them. That was cool. So he didn't fight him. Mom, Dad, check out the legendary weapons I found. Hey, wait! The wine! You promised! Oh, and I actually helped a lot this time. Hmm? What are you doing here, Stanley? Out for a stroll? Uh, <laughs> uh hey, hey, <laughs> what are you doing here, Bard? Fancy that, huh? You, um, uh, out for a stroll, too? Oh, that's right. An after-dinner stroll, to be precise. We were also helping a friend look for something. Paimon's starting to think Stanley might be a fraud. He's definitely a fraud, no question. Did Stanley plant the sword and shield here in advance so as to not hurt Jack's feelings? Adventurers must be pretty familiar with Dada Upa Gorge. You've fought battles here before, after all. <laughs> you better believe it. I can navigate this whole area with my eyes closed. Wow. And I admire your perseverance. And your memory, too. It's only to be expected of a great adventurer like me. You guys had better watch out, though. This place is crawling with hillichos. I, uh... I'll get back to my, um... Uh, stroll now. Goodbye. Guilty conscience, much? Well, he shouldn't have gotten so carried away bragging to Jack, should he? Although, on further reflection, I must say I'm intrigued. Someone who can't let go of the past and gives up on the present instead. I wonder, if such a person was forced to take their first step towards the future, which way would they go? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just musing to myself. Anyway, I propose we take a trip to Angel's Share tonight. Oh, okay. Look at that cute little squirrel. I didn't even heard it. It's just too cute. It just wandered in my cutscene like twice. Hi, squirrel. So cute. Alright, it was fun to use Venti. I was happy I got to use Venti. Wait for night to fall. A tavern? So I am going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And had lots of fun. I enjoyed it. It was fun seeing some info about Venti and just having him right hearty. F just having him in my party for a bit. Thanks for watching. Bye. Guess we can rest a bit. Have you heard?